Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create the look of a woodcut from a photo. This is an update to a tutorial I did quite a while ago on an earlier version of Photoshop. I provided this wood texture so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video description or project files. Open a photo you'd like to use. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock.com. To get your photo into the wood texture document, press V to open your move tool and drag your photo onto the tab of the wood texture. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the wood and then release. To resize and position it, press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. To see the transform's entire bounding box, press Ctrl or Command 0. Drag it into position. If you want to resize it, go to a corner and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it in or out. Then press Enter or Return. To fit it back onto your canvas, press Ctrl or Command 0. Make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Remove its color by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift U. Then make a copy of it. If your foreground and background colors aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard or click this icon. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Sketch folder and click Photocopy. Play with the detail and darkness. We're going to ultimately make two layers, each with different photocopy settings. The first one will be darker and have less detail as in this example. For this image, I slid the detail and darkness all the way to the right. Click off the eyeball to hide the layer, and click on the thumbnail of the other monochrome layer to make it active. Go back to Filter and Filter Gallery. This time, drag the detail to the left until your image has a medium thick edge surrounding its shape. Then click OK. We want to clean up the areas outside the image with white. To do this, we need to make the foreground color white. Invert the colors by pressing X on your keyboard or clicking this icon. Open your pencil tool, make the size medium and the hardness 100%. Press Enter or Return. Make sure the blend mode is normal and the opacity is 100%. Press the F5 key at the top of your keyboard, which opens your brush presets. Make sure the only setting that's checked is smoothing. Press F5 again to close the panel. Brush over the black and gray areas outside your image to clean it up. To make the size of your brush smaller, press the left bracket key. Continue to clean up your image. Then click back on the eyeball next to the darker layer to make it visible and click on its thumbnail to make it active. Click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the active layer. We're going to brush black onto the layer mask to reveal areas of the layer below it. Notice that when we clicked on the layer mask icon, the foreground and background colors reverted back to black and white respectively. In this example, I'll brush over the eyes to reveal more detail. I'll make the brush bigger and brush over the edges surrounding the tiger to reveal its thinner edge. Merge these two layers by pressing Ctrl or Command E. Notice that as soon as we merge the layers, the color is inverted again back to where it was before we added the layer mask. Hide the wood background and your original photo. Go to Select and Color Range. Choose Shadows and click OK. This makes a selection of the black areas. Hide the layer 
and click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. We'll fill the selection with black, and since black is the background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. To deselect it, press Ctrl or Command D. Make the wood background visible, and with the top layer still active, change its blend mode to soft light. To increase its contrast, make a copy of the layer. To reduce the contrast, lower its opacity. I'll lower it to 30%. Double click on layer 2 to make it active and to open its layer style window. Click bevel and emboss. The style is inner bevel and the technique is smooth. Make the direction down the depth 300% and the size 4 pixels. Make the highlight mode linear dodge with an opacity of 30% and make the shadow mode linear burn also with an opacity of 30%. Then click OK. To crop your image, open your rectangular marquee tool and drag a selection over the area you want to keep. Go to Image and Crop. Then deselect it. If there are areas of your woodcut that you'd like to remove, open your eraser tool and brush over the areas to erase them. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.